Hey everybody, Ann here in the tiny house, just finishing up my coffee. I gotta go into town, but when I get back, I got some chores to do. I mean, not the stuff I've already done, chicken, rabbits, all that kind of stuff, but um, I need to mow and I need to plant more stuff. <music> I got a couple passion fruit vines out in the middle of my lawn, just like last year, and there was no sense in mowing them down, so I'm going to go ahead and dig them up and transplant them since the puppies dug up all the other ones that I had transplanted last year. I ended up digging up four of them. I tried to get as much of the taproot as possible, and they're already starting to fade, so I'm going to go ahead and get them in the ground and then finish mowing. I got them planted. This was a twofer, actually a threefer because there's some wild violets down in there. They look kind of wilty, so I hope they survive. I don't. I know on this one I didn't do a good job, a good enough job at uh, digging it up. I got quite a bit of the taproot on this one, and then two smaller ones over here. I'm just going to cross my fingers that they will survive. I might put something in front of them. I don't think Papa will bother them, but still, I really, really, really want to grow these vines close to the tiny house because they're beautiful. The flowers are beautiful. So, keep your fingers crossed. It looks a tiny bit better, but you can still see the tall stuff that it just doesn't get down. It just doesn't take it down, and I think I may need to sharpen my blades too, but at least it's something. <laughs> a little tiny bit done. I beat. So I'm taking a little rest. It's cool inside the tiny house and I'm having some more honeysuckle tea or whatever you want to call it. And then I got to go work with the tomatoes because they're kind of falling down. This tomato right here is a cherry tomato. It was totally drooped over from the rain and so I think I'm going to snip those two bottom leaves off so it can just start growing up this way. It's got blooms. Oh, the, uh, the other ones celebrity they've got blooms they've all got blooms they've essentially all got blooms anyhow all I did for my little stake system since I've got so many tomatoes and they're all over the place um, with each of these stakes out towards the outside I just put some twine down and stapled each side tied it uh, just to make sure it couldn't just pull out and slip through and it does keep it pretty steady I did the same thing here, just two sides, stapled them, tied it, and uh, yeah, so that's that's what I did with all of these. And then all I'm going to do is, um, this twine, it's cheap twine, I don't care, it's all I have right now, um, that will work and be easy to work with. So I've just tied it towards the bottom, and I'm kind of weaving it in and out. It's kind of weird because... I mean, I had to go this way. I haven't gone this way and this way yet. I might do that. Nah, I don't know. So I went this way. I went diagonal, diagonal that way, um, back and forth this way. So what I'll do when they grow, I'll put another layer on, except it'll be on this side and that side and that side. Um, it'll just alternate. So hopefully it'll hold it up. Um, <laughs> I think it'll work just fine. All of these are uh, pretty steady, pretty gosh darn steady. I couldn't tie this one off to the side, but this is way down in the ground, and um, it's a pretty big stick, so I think it'll be all right. So I'm trying to get the tomatoes to come kind of out a little bit, because you can see my beans are getting huge, and this squash needs some sunshine. Look at this one over here. Uh, this is Patty Pan. It's getting kind of leggy, but uh, yeah, the beans, these are all bush beans. So the tomatoes need to grow up. I've already cut the bottoms of them. You can probably see uh, I've cut the bottoms quite a bit. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. And I'm going to do the same thing for this one. I will probably only put stakes here, 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 and here, and then do it that way. Um, but this zucchini is taking off. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. Mm, this one's still doing okay. You know, it's doing all right. 
But the corn is growing like crazy. I've thinned it out. Look at those peas. Can you guys believe those peas? I don't know. Maybe I'll get some peas. Maybe I won't. But I think tomorrow I'm going to go ahead and plant the beans in these three beds. Um, because I think the corn's tall enough. Um, yeah, I think tomorrow will be good to plant the beans and then just keep moving forward. Oh, look at <laughs> There's the sweet babies. Can you see them? They're on the little ledge there. They've been getting all over the place and Miss Beauty down here has been being sweet as ever to them. So, I think it's a match mate. What the heck is... Oh my gosh, there's mushrooms. Oh, I don't have the energy to go back in there right now. I'm going to check on those mushrooms a little bit later and I'll get a better picture of the baby chickens that are just hopping around, even kickstand, doing just fine. It's hard to see through this mesh. My nose is runny because I'm hot and I've been working. It's okay, buddy. Oh, kickstand's already on the ground. <laughs> Here's the baby chickens. They're doing great. Yep, kickstand does just fine. I wonder how many are hens and how many roosters. I need to get closer, closer shot. They are sweet chickens. Okay, kickstand is in, well, is the only one in the bowl now. He just gets in there. <laughs> he can scratch around a little bit. See now, Miss Beauty, if she wants a bite to eat, she will just let one of the baby chickens know to get out of the way. He's clumsy, but he gets around just fine. I know it's hard to see through this. I wonder. I wonder if that's a rooster. I gotta tell you, mowing that lawn kicked my behind. It did. So I'm gonna keep this one kind of short. I don't want to waste your time with just useless drivel. Hey, Papa. What you doing, good boy? Oh, oh. <laughs> He got in front. Anyhow, here, let me turn this camera around. Here's my good boy. He has been so good. When I let him out for his romp, he hardly even wants to leave my side. I just have to tell him, go, run. I have to walk out there with him. He likes to be around somebody. But then he takes off and he does his little run. And then when he comes back, I give him scratches like this. You good boy. You are. I'm glad I kept you. Yeah, I think I'm going to call this one here. So that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.